dealing with disappointments in life and racing. Oh my goodness, YouTube family. I don't know if anybody knows what this is right here. I'm gonna talk about it in a little bit. First, shoveling some snow. Oh man, man, it's not all roses, right? It's not all roses out there, okay. Just when you're a little disappointed, a box arrives to cheer you up. Oh my goodness. And we got the Ultra Torrens today, taking them out in the snow. Oh man, I just, ah, I'm excited to talk about this disappointment and what it can look like in life and, and, and in racing. and. Ooh, there's been some good days and some bad days out there on the track, on the course, on the road, on in the mountains, and yeah, we'll dive more into this, but I must say, I don't know, who, I have no clue who this is from. By the way, two boxes arrived today. One of them I'll have to go back for tomorrow because I need to get a signature, which is great. And uh, then this guy arrived straight from Running Warehouse. We shall see. I don't know. Let's just, I, I don't, yeah, it doesn't have a name on it. Nope, doesn't have a name on it. So anyway, thank you. For, I don't know if these are for me or if these are for the giveaway. I'm not sure. Either way, it lifts my spirits because it's been a hard 12 hours. I'll just put it that way. All right, let's put these torrents on, get some mi a couple miles, uh, three miles in real easy, and then go into the gym. There you, there you have it, three miles in the books. All right, I hate to go here, but key word, gotta be disappointment. And listen, we can overcome disappointment, but uh, it, will, it will hit all of us at some point, right? Hopefully it's not every day, right? Oh man. But a run does uh, lift your spirits, if you know what I mean. Okay, into the gym, come on. Okay, real, all right, gym was good. You know, results just takes work. You just gotta put the time in, everybody. You know that, and I wanna make a correction real quick. Uh, I was not correct about the distance of the UTMB race over in uh, France. It's not 140 kilometers, it's 170 kilometers. So, sorry I gave some, uh, some bad, I will always correct myself if, uh, if you guys catch something where I give you know the wrong drop on a shoe, which has happened once before, 
or the wrong distance on a race, definitely let me know down in the comments because uh, we don't want to be giving out bad information about a, a, a race that is uh, that long, 170 kilometers. So that translates to 105 miles. And with the poles, carrying poles at the UTMB race, you don't have to carry them, but I did find out that you have to carry them if you the, the entire race if you start with them. So you can either start with them or not start with them, but if you do start with them, you gotta carry them the whole way. So a couple quick corrections there for you. Thanks for uh, catching that, whoever caught that out there. Appreciate it, appreciate it, okay. Getting ready for the live stream with my brother. You, you all know the tip of the day. You put the towel down on the windshield before you go to bed so it doesn't ice over. You just pull the towel off in the morning and you got a clear windshield if, you know, you can't put your car in a garage. So you can also buy things that uh, do this, but we just use an old beat up towel. It works, it does the trick. cold in here. It's kind of cold. And it is freezing out here in the studio. I got the heater turned on, warming up for the live stream tonight. And you probably already know this, but don't keep your running shoes out in the cold temperatures, like out in your garage or definitely not like you're in like a, what are those entryways called before you get into the house to kind of kick the snow off, even outside there, like just bring them inside, maybe put them in a plastic bag if they, you know, have a little odor to them because that cold, those cold temperatures really breaks down the midsole a lot quicker and it'll, it'll take away from the, uh, basically the absorption through the cushion, through the foam of your ride. Like it'll, it'll make the, the midsole a lot more dense. And I really notice it in the Zoomax foam on the Nikes, like the Nike Turbos. I, if the, as once I left them outside in the cold, uh, not for, I don't think it was overnight. It was just like two or three hours and I put them on and I was like, oh my goodness, these are, it's, it, I actually had to bring them inside, put them next to a heater just to warm up that midsole uh, foam. So, okay, let's go add these to the collection. And yes, the pile is getting bigger. It's getting closer to giving these shoes away. Okay, come on. All right, bringing them in from the cold, bringing them in from the cold. Here is the pile. We're going to do the giveaway, I would say, in the next week. We're going we're gonna to be doing a couple of giveaways. Remember, when we hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to buy running shoes for some of you out there. But in addition, because of your generosity, it's, hap it's actually happening. Like, we had an idea, a collective idea, and now look at this pile. Look at this pile. <laughs> I don't know if you can even see that, but bottom line, the corner of the bedroom is getting a little full, so it's time to get them out of here. Get them out of here. So I would say the next four or five days, we will do a giveaway, and I have a couple ideas on how we're going to do it, so stay tuned for that. All right, YouTube, we are going live in about... 30 minutes with my brother. Hopefully it works. Gonna try the webcam. It's not quite as high a quality, but it's gonna do the trick. So if you didn't, well, let's just make sure it works. I'll let you know if it worked in about an hour from now. So, oh my God, and we got the microphone connected. Whew, let's go. And there you have it, it worked. The live stream worked, oh my goodness. So I interviewed my brother and he's, gosh, if you're in high school especially, you gotta go watch it, upper right hand corner. We talk about training, foot locker, all sorts, mountain running, good topics, really good topics. And this is the next step forward where I will be interviewing live so you can ask questions live for professional runners coaches, uh, race directors, anyone really that's got a story to share that's really well connected to this sport that we love called running. So I'm excited that it worked. I'm hoping, I'm just going to drop his name now. I'm hoping to get Mike Wardian on next. And I will, okay, I won't even, I won't share what he did, but he did something insane recently that has to do with marathon running. Okay, moving on to today's topic. Oh, you know, it's it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Disappointment in life, in racing. Uh, gosh, like, I don't know about you, but life is all about dealing with curveballs, right? It's like things that you just, that happen. They just happen and you don't see it coming. 
Um, well, what happened last night? Why did I want to talk about this topic? This is not, well, it is connected to running, but the external hard drive. 10 terabytes, 10,000 gigabytes. I just bought this, thankfully, three weeks ago. So last night I got home late from the gala. I was tired. I was exporting footage, all the raw file, all the raw video files that I have filmed in the last three to four weeks were on my computer. I were I was putting it onto the external hard drive to back it up and to clear space on my MacBook Pro. And basically I forgot that it was connected. I moved my computer. This fell to the ground and it's broken and it's broken and I know you can send these away to get them fixed to extract the video files but it's expensive so I don't think I will do that so basically I've lost the last three to four weeks of video files for our, for the vlog for our, you know the the innovate footage the um the 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 Hoka carbon rocket footage basically I'm disappointed. I was very disappointed last night because think of all that footage that I filmed and I don't have access to the raw files moving forward. So it's a, it was disappointing. And in racing, for me, last year, I, okay, I raced 250Ks in back-to-back -back weekends. I was planning to race the Speed Go 50K in Utah, and that was gonna be one of my peak races for the year, but I got a little excited I learned my lesson, but I went out and I ran a, another 50k race the week before. I did end up winning winning that race at Copper Mountain, so I'm, I don't really regret going to that race. I won it. It was a 50k, 6,000, yeah, 6,000 feet of elevation gain. It was a doozy, but you know, good prize money and not just putting that out. Like I'm, I'm glad I did it because I won. But the next week, I had all, I had this big trip planned. I went to uh, I went to Speed Goat. Uh, they were you know the famous Carl Metzler puts it on, who's won more hundred mile races than anybody else in history, I believe. I mean he's just a he's a beast. Well, at this race, I was in third place and then faded. I think all the way to like twentieth place. I don't even know. I faded bad. It was not. It was ugly, and it was disappointing. It was very disappointing to put all that work into the race, into the training, into the travel to get out there to Utah, which isn't that far. But anyway, so I just bring up these topics because, listen, yeah, it's like life isn't all cherries on top, you know? It's like we've got to deal with these situations sometimes. And so the question of the day, how do you deal with disappointment in your training, in your racing, or even just in in life in general, you know, keep, you know, we can keep it broad. But I'd be fascinated to hear, like, do you have a go-to mental strategy for dealing with disappointment after a race? Like for me, I was so disappointed after the Speed Go 50K last year. And I think one, th I'll just sh share one thing that I do. I'm not afraid to internalize that disappointment, let it go inside and dwell around a little bit, and just be like, eh. Yeah, and that's what I did last night for like two hours. I was like, oh, oh, that hurts. That like, that's a lot of work that I just lost in this external hard drive. But then I make sure mentally to say, okay, I'm only gonna give myself, especially for a situation like this, like two hours, maybe three hours to like sulk and feel sorry for myself. And then you gotta snap, you gotta come back out of it. So anyway, I internalize and then snap out. So that's the question of the day. I know it's kind of a uh, tougher topic, but you know, we're real here, right? We're a YouTube family, so we gotta support each other through the good times and the bad times, in my humble opinion. Oh man, what a day. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being at the live stream if you were there. And we will do this again, um, yeah, tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow, you better believe it. Seek beauty. Ah, work hard. By the way, the t-shirts are very comfortable. Very comfortable. Mm. They'll be available soon. Love each other. See you tomorrow.